हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मल्टी वाइब्रेटर्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स हियर द वर्ड मल्टी वाइब्रेटर रिप्रेजेंट्स मल्टीपल फ्रीक्वेंसीज और मेनी फ्रीक्वेंसीज सो वाइब्रेटर रिप्रेजेंट्स फ्रीक्वेंसीज एंड मल्टी रिप्रेजेंट्स मेनी सो वी कैन से मल्टी वाइब्रेटर्स जनरेट्स मल्टी फ्रीक्वेंसीज और मेनी फ्रीक्वेंसीज आउटपुट ऑफ मल्टी वाइब्रेटर्स विल बी जनरली ए स्क्वायर वेव सो आउटपुट ऑफ मल्टी वाइब्रेटर्स विल बी ए स्क्वायर वेव बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टाइप्स ऑफ मल्टी वाइब्रेटर्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए स्क्वायर वेव इफ यू कंसिडर ए स्क्वायर वेव द स्क्वायर वेव विल बी हैविंग ए हाई स्टेट एज वेल एज ए लो स्टेट सो ए स्क्वायर वेव इज हैविंग बोथ हाई स्टेट एंड लो स्टेट now let us say if this state of square wave changes from high state to low state or from low state to high state without applying any input such a state is known as a quasi state so if state changes at output without applying any input such a state is known as quasi state or it is also known as semi stable state so if this output changes from one state to another state without applying any input we call such state as quasi state or it is also known as semi stable state with this knowledge let us see the types of multi vibrators there are three types of multi vibrators first one is a stable multi vibrator second type is monostable multi vibrator and third type is bistable multi vibrator so there are three types of multi vibrators first type is a stable multi vibrator second type is monostable multi vibrator third type is bistable multi vibrator so now let us understand one by one the types of multi vibrators now let us see the a stable multi vibrator in a stable multi vibrator there are two quasi states which means without giving any input voltage we'll get two states at the output which is high state as well as low state so in a stable multi vibrator we need not give any input we'll get the output with two states that's why we can say a stable multi vibrators are having two quasi states now let us see the monostable multi vibrator in monostable multi vibrator it will be having one stable state and one quasi state if we say stable state stable state requires input to change the state and quasi state does not require any input to change the state now for example let us say in monostable multi vibrator we are having a high state now at this point if we apply input the state will change to low state now at this low state without any input it will move to high state so this process will continue again during high state at this point if we give the input then the state will change to low state so this is the stable state for this stable state if you apply the input at that case this state will change to low state in the low state since this is a quasi state without giving any input it will move to high state so from this high state again we need to apply input so that it can move to other state and this process will continue so this is monostable multi vibrator now let us see bistable multi vibrator in bistable multi vibrator both the states are stable states for example if we take a square wave if the square wave is in high state we need to apply input so that the state can change from high state to low state again in low state 
we need to apply input so that the state changes from low state to high state. Suppose in high state if we do not apply any input then we will get the stable state that will not change any state until we apply the input. So, if you apply input at this point the state will change from high state to low state. So, to change any state at the output we require input in bistable multivibrator. This is about multivibrators. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.